Welcome to this tutorial presented by oraclecoach.com. This is Claire Rajan and in this video segment I'll be demonstrating the while loop statement that can be written in PLSQL. A while loop statement is used to perform a series of statements repeatedly for a certain number of times or until a condition is met. Just like I explained in my earlier tutorial on the loop construct, a program that uses a while loop construct also makes use of a programmatic element that behaves as a counter. I have SQL star plus open and I'm connected to the database as the user HR. The counter variable that I'll be creating in my program will be a numeric variable that'll be, that will be declared in the declaration section that I would assign some kind of initial value to. Now if I want to write a program that will display the word hello on the screen five times, I can, uh, I can do so using a while loop construct. And to write this program, I'm going to edit a new file called while. I'm declaring a numeric variable uh, which I'm calling as n1. Uh, to be of number type and I'm setting it to an initial value of 0. In the body of the program I'm going to write a while construct where the condition that I'm going to write is while n1 is less than equal to 4 the keyword loop that uh, is required for the while statement I want to display uh, the word hello which I'm going to do using this DBMS output line statement followed by a statement that will increment the value of the counter. Now, This statement is really important because uh, without the statement to increment the counter you'll end up with some kind of an endless loop because the condition, uh, the condition uh, will never become false. So uh, I've ended uh, the loop statement uh, or the while statement with the end loop and then the program ends with the word end. Here I have the output that I want which is to see the word hello displayed five times. Now I also want to demonstrate the fact that um, the, the initial value that I gave to the variable n1 which uh, in the program looks like it's zero is not really important. Uh, I can set it to any value of my choice. For instance if I set the initial value to six the program will still work uh, however what I should take care of is ensuring that for the word hello to be displayed displayed five times, the counter runs five times and stops uh, after it exceeds um, a counting five times which means once it reach, uh, goes past 10 which is 11, the condition should become false and it should come out of the while statement. So um, the only change that I'm making to this program is the initial and final value that the counter should take. Let me clear the screen so that there's no confusion about the output and I'm running the program again and it shows me the word hello displayed five times. Now uh, before I let you go uh, with this video uh, I, there is a program that I would like you to try. Now in the hands-on part of the tutorial on the loop construct I explained a program that could be written to find the sum of the first five numbers using a loop statement. Now as an exercise in this tutorial I'd like you to try to write that, that same program but I want you to write it using a while loop construct instead of a loop construct. Now you may want to pause this video for just a few moments to try out the program uh, and then um, once you've written it you can continue um, this tutorial because uh, what's going to follow this uh, is going to be the solution to the program. I called the program sum5 so uh, now if I run the program uh, what you will see is the result of uh, of the summation of the first five numbers where I displayed a string saying the sum of 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 which are the first five numbers is 15 which means I wanted to do a 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 and that result was 15. Now let me show you the program that I wrote to achieve this using a while loop statement. So I declared the variable n1, I initialized it to be 1 because that's the first value that had to be summed.
and I wanted N1 not only to be acting as a counter but also to hold the value that needed to be added. I created a variable called total which was of number type and I initialized it to zero. Now it's very important uh, that this variable called total is initialized. The variable is being created to hold the summation at each iteration and uh, if you do not set the initial value to zero, the variable will automatically take a null value and uh, when you try to do a summation of a null with a number, the result of the summation is going to be null. So the initial value of total being equal to zero is a, a, an important part of the program. In the body of the program, I have the while statement, which uh, runs for as long as n1 is less than or equal to 5. Uh, the loop process will uh, perform the, uh, the addition of the, of the number contained in n1 to the variable total. So total equal to total plus 1 uh, literally reads as new value of total is equal to existing value of total plus the val current value of n1. So what would happen is for each iteration, the total will keep adding the, su the sum and finally after the entire looping process is completed, it will hold the value which is the summation of all the numbers that, uh, that needed to be added. Now n1 equals n1 plus 1 is so that it behaves as a counter and then you have the end loop which closes the while and uh, what I did was displayed the sum of 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 which is um, then pipe, uh, double piped that with the two char function to because I was displaying a numeric variable called total and uh, I put it outside the, the loop end loop construct because I wanted to display it only one time. If you put it inside it's going to be displayed for every iteration and it will literally show you the cumulative summation of each, um, of each value as it is happening. So um, this was the program that would add the first five uh, numbers. I hope you find this tutorial useful. Um, you can look at the oraclecoach.com website for more videos, tutorials and articles. Thank you for your time and thank you for listening.